Hey, this is Steve with Priority Bicycles and today we're going to go over how to fix a rear flat on your Priority Coast. All you need to fix a flat on your Priority Coast is a 26 inch by 2 inch tube with a Schrader valve, a bicycle floor pump, an everyday rag, tire lever, an 8 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and 15 millimeter open-ended wrench, and a 5 millimeter Allen key. The first thing we're going to want to do is just flip the bicycle over on its seat and handlebars and make sure you place it down gently so you don't scratch up either. Um, from here, we can start by undoing our axle bolts. And all you need to do is grab your 15 millimeter wrench and undo your axle bolts right at the dropouts. Just turn these guys counterclockwise on both sides. And you don't have to pull the bolts completely off. You can just do them pretty loose so that you can slide them out of the dropouts. Once these guys are loose, we can grab a five millimeter Allen key and your 10 millimeter open-ended wrench and undo the coaster brake arm on the non-drive side of your bike. So you just put the 10 millimeter wrench on the nut behind the arm and insert your five millimeter Allen key undo this guy just turn it counterclockwise until that bolt frees up completely pull this guy out and put these to the side so we don't lose them the coaster brake arm is free we can take our eight millimeter open-ended wrench and start loosening our belt tensioners once it's loose enough you can use your hands yeah once these guys are all loosened up we can move our wheel back let's move to the other side and loosen this guy and then once they're loose enough we can move our wheel up so our belt is loose enough to lift off of the chain ring. Once the belt is free from the chain ring, we can start lifting the wheel out of the dropouts and just pull it straight back until it's free. Remove the belt and we can start working on our flat. Once we have the wheel free from the bike, you can take your tire lever and insert it into the rim on the exact opposite side of where the valve is. Once we get our tire lever under the tire and pry it. Um, we should get this little piece over the rim. And then we can move the tire lever all the way around until that entire side is free from the rim itself. Once that guy's free, we can pull the tube straight out of the tire. Toss that guy to the side for now. Pull the tire completely off the rim and grab your rag. And all you wanna do is run your rag through the inside of the entire tire and see if you snag anything. Uh, this will help you find anything that's stuck in your tire and keeps poking holes in there. Um, and once you locate it, you can just pull it straight out with needle nose pliers or anything like that. But this guy is clear. So we can toss our rag to the side and start reinstalling the tire. Just place one lip of the tire over the rim all the way around. And once it's there, it'll kind of just stay in place so you can start inserting your tube. The easiest way to get this guy into the tire is to give it a little air first. Um, so you just grab your new tube and add a pump of air in there so it takes shape like a circle and start reinserting it back into the tire itself. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take the valve and push it through the valve hole on the rim. Then you can start feeding the tube itself into the tire. Just do that all the way around. And then rock the tire so that the tube sits inside of the rim. Uh, from there, we can start seating the other lip of the tire. Uh, and the easiest way to do it is starting around the valve. So we just push that guy into the rim you can go about halfway around and then push the valve into the tire and pull it straight back out so that it seats around the valve. Then we can finish pushing the tire all the way around. You can just pry it into the rim itself and hold on to this guy. So to reinstall your rear wheel, uh, all you're going to want to do is to loosely pull the belt around your rear cog and wrap it around and then insert your axles straight into the dropout so that the slotted belt tensioners go into the dropouts parallel. Then we just move our wheel all the way up to the front of the dropouts and hold it there. 
and wrap our belt back around the front chain ring. Press that guy all the way around until it sits on the track. Once we have the belt wrapped around the cog and front chain ring, um, we can start by reattaching the coaster brake arm. So we just move this arm straight to the mount on the frame. Grab your five millimeter bolt and nut and just thread it straight through the mount on the frame and the hole in the coaster brake arm. And loosely thread those guys together and leave them a bit loose. We can tighten those guys down a little bit later. Uh, so from there, we grab our eight millimeter wrench and start adding tension to the belt through the tensioners in the back. So we just turn these guys counterclockwise a bit. We just do it on both sides until the wheel is centered and the belt tension is correct. Uh, for the coast, you're gonna want about 50 to 85 hertz using the Gates belt tension app. Once your wheel is centered and you have the correct belt tension, you can start by tightening down your axle bolts. So you just grab our 15 millimeter wrench, turn these guys clockwise until they're good and tight. Do the exact same for the other side. Then from there, we can start by buttoning down the coaster brake bolt. So we just take our 10 millimeter wrench and five millimeter Allen key again, insert onto the nut behind the arm, and then tighten that five millimeter Allen key bolt down until they're good and tight. Uh, the next step, we can start adding some air to the tire. So we just grab our pump, attach it to the valve in the tire, lift this lever up to lock it down, and we can start pumping the tire. For the coast, you're gonna want about 40 PSI. Once there's about 40 PSI in there, you can just pop that lever down and pull the, the pump off, put it to the side, and from there, we're all set. If you need any help, feel free to contact us at info at priorityBicycles.com.